Hello. What I want to talk about today is a fact known to many developers, but nevertheless a huge number of articles are still trying to explain the difference between types of joins using the intersection of circles, the so-called Venn diagrams. This explanation is generally incorrect, or at least not accurate. Let's see why. Let's take a look at an example right away. Let's say we have two tables with duplicate values, 1, 1, 1, 3 and 1, 1, 1, 2. If we represent an inner join as an intersection of circles, then it may seem that the result will be three common rows. One, one, one. However, in fact, there will be as many as nine of them. But why? Before looking at inner join, let's first look at what a cross join is. This is the basis we need to explain other kinds of joins. Cross join is simply all possible combinations of joining rows of two tables. For example, there are two tables, one of them has three rows, the other has two. Then the cross join will produce six rows. Once again, just all combinations. If the tables contain duplicate values, then there will be just uh, more combinations. Now back to where we started, inner join. Inner join is the same as cross join, but the result is filtered by some additional condition written in the on clause. Look at the screen. These expressions are absolutely equivalent. If you look at the first example from this video, which resulted in nine rows instead of three, now you understand why. The inner join is all combinations of rows filtered by the own expression. It's not the intersection of the circles. Now let's talk about left join. Many people think that as a result of left join, the left table always remains unchanged and some value attached from the right table or null. In many cases, this is true, but if there are duplicate data, then this is just wrong. The reason is the same. So what is left join? So left join is the same as inner join, plus rows from the left table for which nothing matched in the right table according to the filter. Please pause the video and take a close look at this example. This is how left join should be represented and not with the help of a Venn diagram. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this, please subscribe to our channel. There are many exciting things ahead. Thank you.